Okay, in today's video I will be doing a product review which are some of my favorite videos to film. And this will be over the Ula Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I received a deluxe sample size and I'm going to tell you how I like it so please keep watching. So um, I placed an order probably a week or so, a week or so ago online on Sephora.com because I like to place small orders of 25 around $25 so that I can get deluxe size samples of products that are new that I'd like to try. So the one, oh my god, why am I out of breath? The one I wanted to try this time was the Ula Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, which is a three-in-one cleansing jelly. And um, I don't really have any of the stuff on here, but I guess I should get my tablet and read the claims to you so at least you guys can be somewhat informed. It says, a unique transformative 3-in-1 cleanser that melts away on contact into a luxurious oil to effortlessly dissolve the most stubborn long wear waterproof makeup as it cleanses away impurities. So it's basically a melting cleanser. It kind of puts me in the mind of a Pond's cold cream like product where um, you apply it to your dry face, rub it in or massage it into your skin with your fingers and then wash it away with warm water. It's formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates, or phthalates, I think that's how you say it. Um, so basically, the full-size version, which is 4 ounces, retails for $34 at Sephora. I gave this product probably 4 or 5 tries, and because it's a cleanser, and it doesn't really um, claim to give you any amazing skincare and long-term benefits, I figured 4 to 5 uses is good enough. So um, the first thing I'm always going to talk about is the smell because y'all know that's a big part of how I feel about products is the smell. This smells like oranges which is great because it actually comes in orange packaging and it is an orange product. It is a really thick jelly um, substance. It's very viscous. It does not move. It is pretty much like a thick Vaseline and that's what I would compare this product to. Um, a Vaseline type product. I know I've seen some reviews where or some videos where some people use Vaseline or products like Vaseline to take their makeup off because it's very moisturizing and it completely removes everything. I have not tried that because I don't really like the thought of having a gunk of Vaseline on my face. But I will tell you that when I use this it made my skin feel absolutely amazingly smooth afterwards. Um, I used it to um, take off all the makeup on my face, my eyes, my cheeks. I didn't use it on my lips because I got a different product that I actually am trying out. But when I washed it off, my skin was so smooth. Like, let me show you the packaging because I don't think I did that. It's just an orange container. But yeah, back to the results. My skin was just so moisturized and hydrated. And so um, I really think this product would be great for the fall season now and moving into the winter as the weather gets more cold and there's less moisture in the air and it really tends to dry out my skin as well as others. I think this product would be absolutely amazing. It is expensive for a cleanser and I know I've always said that I don't like to spend a lot of money on cleansers because you literally just wash them away. But I I feel like this is good to use at night when you are removing your makeup because if you use this you don't necessarily need to use such a heavy eye cream or such a heavy night cream so I feel like this in conjunction with some lighter weighted products would be amazing for a fall and winter skincare regimen my mother used this and she has more mature skin which is a lot drier than mine and she absolutely loved it this product is just I just <laughs> I really love it so um, I don't know if I went through the directions with you but you're basically just going to start with dry face and dry hands you're going to put a little on your face and massage it into your skin gently and then you're going to take a warm washcloth with water on it and gently wipe it away what I do is I after I massage it into my face I use my hands to just splash water on my face and then I'll use a washcloth to get any excess products off and it really got my face squeaky clean but of course you could always follow it with a cleanser 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend that with this product since it is so hydrating. I would kind of want to just reap the benefits of this product because it is amazing. So um, I don't really think you need to use this in the morning time because it's it's too expensive and it also is like a thick moisturizing cleanser um, but also like a makeup remover as well. So I would say use this more in the evening, in the cooler months or all year round if you have dry skin. But this product will definitely be going into my fall and winter skincare regimen. I will definitely be purchasing it when my deluxe sample is done. Um, I just, y'all, if you can get to Sephora or wherever else they sell Ula Henriksen, I'm not sure. Have them um, just tell you about this product. Maybe do a little demo on your hand or your face. And I promise you, you will like love this product. It's just amazing. And now I'm starting to ramble too much. Um, so overall, would I repurchase this? Absolutely. And I will. I'd probably give it 5 out of 5 stars. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. And like I said, it's definitely great for people with dry skin or all skin types as we move into the colder months to use as a makeup remover and a cleanser and a moisturizer all in one. It's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. I'm trying to get better with um, cranking out these shorter videos because I know some of my hauls tend to be really long. And speaking of hauls, if you are just watching this video to see this product review, then you can click off right now. But because I am a shopaholic I did purchase some makeup today um I know I just did a haul I will actually just filmed a haul but um I went to Sephora and found more makeup that was on sale so um everything I got was on sale um the first thing I got is this Kat Von D lipstick in foiled it's the foiled love lipstick in forever and never and this was on clearance at my um local sephora so i believe this is probably a discontinued lipstick it looks like this it comes in really nice silver packaging with like silver inscribed roses on it i just love all of kat von D's packaging because they just look like body art tattoos and I'm all about tattoos this is the color I actually have it on my lips right now it really puts me in the mind of the MAC Viva Glam Rihanna 2 which I also do have so in the end of this video I will include a swatch of this beside that one so you guys can compare them but this is an awesome color especially for the fall because it's like it's like shiny and rose goldy. It's just gorgeous. But I also think this will look nice, um, excuse me, through all seasons. And it's a great color. And it was $9. You can't beat that, right? The next lipstick I got is a painted love lipstick in the color Cathedral. don't think I see any shimmer it looks pretty much like a cream formula and I actually bought this to give to my mom um, she's recently started doing her own nails and I've been trying to help her get into more colors and I actually had her try a couple of these Sephora formula X polishes and she loves them and so when I saw it was on sale I was like let me just do something nice for her since my lovely mother is always treating me I figured why not 
If you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it, kind of in the corners of the bottle, you'll see that it is kind of blue tinted. And I'm thinking that this top coat is just gonna amplify the neon colors. So I did pick this up to go along with this nail polish and maybe I'll do my nails with this polish for next week. So I've been very satisfied by all the Sephora Formula X polishes. So I know that I'll be just as pleased with these. And that is it for my product review and my mini haul because I can't stop myself from shopping. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this review was helpful to those of you who were looking at this product or maybe want something like this for yourselves for um, the fall or winter seasons. So yes, definitely check that out. I will leave a link down below to the Sephora website where you can purchase this. And yeah, that's all I have to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.